Well, hello again, and welcome again to another episode of Down to Earth, but Heavenly Minded. And today we're going to be doing something a little different. Uh, we're not going to be going through any particular book in the Bible, and I'm not going to be going through anybody's notes or uh, any writings. What I plan on doing is just talking to you a little bit about uh, how do we know what's really going on in the world today. You know, a lot of people ask me, why don't I have a uh, program dealing with politics and world events and just all the garbage that's going on in the world today? And there is a lot of garbage going on. And what I mean by that is, just look around you. I mean, there's violence all over the place. Uh, I could share a story with you down the road from me here, about 15 miles where I used to work. There's a town. And uh, just recently, somebody broke in to a uh, business down there. I won't mention any names and robbed it. Well, they caught the person, and it was a woman, and they caught this person, and uh, they charged her, but then they let her go. Within the same week, she went out in the country, she found a farmhouse with an elderly couple. The man had dementia, uh, and the woman, his wife, was taking care of him, and she just walked right in the house with a gun and a knife and threatened him and got their credit cards, got their PIN numbers, and then she walked out and made a phone call. Then she came back in again, and she did this a couple times, and then... Uh, she took all their their phones, their uh, landline, their cell phones, took the car keys, and uh, so they couldn't go into town. They couldn't uh, couldn't do you know make any calls to report what happened, and she left. Well, just so happens the woman had a set of car keys hid. And she rode into town and reported it to the police. Well, after investigating, they found out it was the same woman that they just released. Well, guess what? They charged her again, but they let her go. And this is happening all over the world. I mean, there's no justice anymore. People are not safe anymore. I just got through talking with a, uh, a friend yesterday uh, on our scripture reading meeting, and we would do it online, and he was telling me that where he lived, there was a couple gangs that had a gang war, and this was in broad daylight, around noon. Three people died in the shooting, and there was some injured, and there was a business burnt down. You know, this... This is going on all over the place. Just listen to the news. Well, somebody says, why don't you have a show and talk about things like this? You'd have probably a better following. Well, I'm telling you, what I talk about is getting to the root of the things that are going on. Last night at our scripture reading, we read this, and I'm just going to share this with you. It's out of Ephesians chapter 6, and that's the portion that we covered last night. It says, Finally, be strong in the Lord 
and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. And this is the part I want you to really understand, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over the present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. And that's why we're supposed to put on the whole armor of God. And these attacks are coming uh, when we look at what we can see. We have to understand where all this evil is coming from. It's not coming from, just coming from the air. It's coming from the principalities and the powers in high places. Even our government is being influenced by these evil powers all around us. And they're fallen angels, and believe you, they do exist. You know, when we think about, uh, you know, if you really pick up and read the Bible and really study it, you're going to come to realize that there's something going on all around us. And I truly believe we live in two realms. We live in a physical realm and a spiritual realm. And we're spiritual beings. God has made us this way. And if our eyes could be open, we would see what's going on. In the Old Testament, uh, Elijah and Elisha, uh, one was a prophet and the other one was a young prophet, uh, was coming up in ranks. And the older prophet prayed to God that he would open the eyes of his young prophet that he was training, put it that way. And really what happened was uh, they were being attacked. Their enemies were all around them. And the old prophet prayed, Lord, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of this young prophet. You know what he saw? The hills were filled with angelistic beings that were for them. And God was protecting them from this evil that was going on around them. They called guardian angels. I believe that everybody uh, seems to have one. Uh, that God, and I'm talking about Christians now, true, true believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, born again believers. Now, I know that uh, before I was a Christian, I used to always say that uh, God had to be protecting me some of the stupid things that I did. And it might be true, I don't know. But I do know this right now, that God is right here. If God be for us, who can be against us? And now this doesn't mean that I might not die physically, but I'm being protected spiritually. I can never die. The Bible says, don't fear him who can kill the body but fear him who can kill the body and cast your soul in hell. That's spiritual death. You know, we, we all are under a death sentence. And I'm not talking about physical death here. I'm talking about spiritual death. And we, uh, we all are blind to what is going on. Uh, and we have to read the scriptures to find out what truly is going on in the world. And that's why I wanted to have this uh, broadcast today, why I wanted to talk about this. 
and uh, you know, I always wanted my own radio station, uh, but in the past there was so much uh, you had to go through to get a, a radio station, and then you had to have the FCC approved, uh, you know, your station that you're on, uh, uh, and the sound waves and everything that's going on. Well. Today, we have the internet. And that's why I have this internet radio show, to get the word out there and to share some of the things that I truly believe are going on right before our, before us. I can't say before our eyes because we can't see them. But we do live in a spiritual and physical realm. And, you know, when we think about uh, the spiritual world, we always think about it being way out there someplace. Well, I believe that you can reach out and touch it if you could see it. And if it was physical, but it's not physical, so you can't touch it. But it's right there. It's all around us. And there's this war going on. And this war is for the souls of men. You know, Satan would love nothing better than to uh, deceive you and make you think that none of these things are true. But they're true. Believe me, read the Bible. God cannot lie, and this is God's word. Oh, yeah, it was written by man. But as they were moved by the Spirit, God is in full control of everything. And he is truly allowing some of these things to happen in the world. And I believe that the Lord is preparing the world right now for his return. You know, I think uh, right now that, and I've said this from the day I got converted the day I gave my life to the Lord that the Lord could come in my lifetime and my life is pretty short right now I'm living on borrowed time the scripture says the life expectancy is three score and ten a score is 20 years so it'd be 60 years plus 10, seven years. That's about the life expectancy. Now, we know a lot of people die younger than that. And a lot of people live older than that. And right now, I'm 15 years on power time. <laughs> but the, my, my time is in the Lord's hands. He'll take me whenever he wants me. I belong to the Lord. And you know, I, I firmly believe that, uh, uh, and I just finished the book of Revelation. And if you really read Revelation, in fact, go through it. Go through my notes. I talk about everything that goes on. It, it really wasn't my notes. It was uh, Daniel uh, Stanton's notes. Uh, but I agreed with him on most points. There was only a couple minor things that I didn't agree with. But overall, Christ is re coming. He's returning. He came the first time, and there's more prophecies about him coming the second time. A lot of people don't know this. A lot of people uh, get fascinated with uh, prophecy. But if you check out all the prophecies that Christ fulfilled at his first coming, 100% of all the prophecies that spoke of his first coming, he fulfilled. Right down to, right down to the letter. When he asked for something to drink because he thirsted when he was on the cross, that's in the Bible. And that was wrote thousands of years before it happened. Isaiah wrote so many things about the Lord. It was prophesied, and every one of them came through. 
Micah also, and in all the prophets that spoke of Christ. And by the way, Christ is found on every page of the Bible. Well, I just wanted to let you know that all this stuff that's going on in the world today, there's a force behind it. There's so much evil all around us. And you can't escape it. You can't run and hide from it. And it's progressively getting worse. And the reason for it is, is that our uh, authorities are not enforcing the laws. They're letting criminals go. And you know what else is going on in the world? And I think people understand this. At least many of the people I talk to understand that these countries know that our borders are wide open. And they've opened up their prisons and jails, and they've sent all their low lowlifes into our country. And let me tell you, there's going to be an explosion of violence in the very, very near future. And right now we're doing nothing to stop it, nothing at all. You think you're safe? Well, think again. There's the end coming. And I believe I'm seeing it in my lifetime. I've never seen anything like this in my lifetime. But right now, it's happening right before our eyes. And we can see the physical world, and we can see the results of all this evil influence that's going on. Satan is alive and well on the planet Earth. And he's here uh, performing all the havoc he can. He knows his time is short. And he's going to try to uh, usher in his reign on Earth through the Antichrist, through the false prophets. Uh, re read it for yourself. It's in, it's in the book of Revelation. You know, you think about uh, two books, one in the old and one in the new, Daniel and Revelation. Those are really some powerful books. But before you can understand it, you have to come to the Lord Jesus Christ and give your life to him. And the reason I say that is because we say seeing is believing. But God says believing is seeing. You have to have faith in God and his word. And God will open up the scriptures to your understanding. For 40 years of my life, I never understood the Bible. And when I gave my life to the Lord, the day I gave my life to him, the scriptures started to open up to me. And God revealed things to me little by little because he knew that that's how I had to absorb it. I couldn't take it all in at one time. It was too overwhelming. And now I understand all about what God has in store for me and what he has planned for the world. You know, at one time God says it grieved him in his heart that he even created man because the evil was so rampage all over. So God just wiped everybody out with the flood except for Noah and his family. And I'm going to tell you my favorite verse in the Bible. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And you know, I put my name in there. 
because when I put my faith and trust in Christ, I realized that Irv found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Yes, God is merciful, loving, kindness. Uh, he doesn't want anybody to perish, but he wants all to come to repentance. Is this going to happen? No. That's his will. But not all men will react in a positive way to the call of love. And that love was demonstrated when he laid down his life for you and for me. When he went to Calvary and died on that cruel cross, he was sinless, perfect. The only man that was ever born that was sinless because God required a perfect sacrifice without spot or blemish. And Christ was the only one that fulfilled that. And through obedience to the Father, Christ went to the cross. You know, he prayed, you know, Father, if it's possible to take this cup from me. But he said, not my will, but your will be done. Well, the will of God is that you repent and come to know him as your Savior if you don't know him already. And God will open up your understanding to what is happening. Well, that's what I have to share with you today. So remember these words. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Bye for now. The end of the recording.